What's up, Soul Squad? What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. We are doing what? Ribs. And I'm doing them different. I did them before, but I'm doing them different. And I want to take you guys on that journey with me. All right, let's get started. So, you got two slabs of ribs. You want to wash them off, clean them, pet dry them, right? And then you want to take your seasoning. I have something here. It's called my rub. I use my own seasoning. And I added, what, about one-fourth cup of brown sugar to this seasoning. And your seasoning could be anything that you season your meat with. Guess what? I'm adding some mustard. And it's gonna be about maybe four tablespoons of mustard, guys. And yes, you gotta use your hands, cause you gotta get down in there. You gotta get that seasoning, that brown sugar, and all that stuff combined together. Cause this is gonna be what the rub that you use on your ribs. Look at this. Thank you, everybody who's following me. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Y'all know the holidays coming. We about to get it in. But this rub smells so. So, so good. Look at that. It's like a paste. And you're just going to take it just like this. I'm going to take some. I'm just going to rub it all over my ribs. I'm going to rub it down like I'm lotioning it up. And remember, you're going to do the back and the front side of these ribs, guys. The back and the front side. Oh, that must have smelled good. all the way down to there to all that extra meat I got to do both sides I got to do both sides of these ribs and I may not made enough stuff look at that somebody said mustard y'all know y'all been seeing mustard on everything right and it works it gives your meat and everything a tiny ting a tang or something it works and then once I do the rub, what I'm going to do too, I'm still going to do some, throw some extra seasoning on here. So even though I got everything in this rub to help make it stick, to help bring out its flavors, I'm still going to throw in some extra, extra seasoning. Some more garlic powder, some more of this, some more of that. So that everything will be nice and flavorful. Yeah. And then guess what? You know how you add a little bit of water? We're not adding a little bit of water, guys. We're adding apple juice. Mmm, look at that. That looks so good. I got a third one over here. But y'all ain't gonna see me do that one. I'm gonna do that one off camera. I'm gonna put these in the oven for you. See like that? Then I might not add no extra seasoning. Because it's all in the rub. And I think I got just enough rub to make this thing nice and flavorful. Let me wash my hands. Come back. We're going to pull the apple juice oven. It's preheating on 300. This is going to cook a little full on 300. Guys, for a good three to four hours. Let me wash my hands. Look at that rub down. Mm. Okay, so Slaw, we are back in the kitchen. Look at this. This is nice and seasoned. Damn. So, instead of using water, we're going to use apple juice because we just are. Oh, apple juice is going to get this nice and tender. It's going to make it be flavorful. It's just going to taste all types of good. So, don't pour the apple juice. You'll use about maybe a cup. Don't pour the apple juice directly on the ribs. You want to pour it like in the corner so it won't splash the rib. You don't want to pour it directly on the rib. Because then guess what? You're taking off all your seasoning. And then of course these ribs are going to make what? All meat holds some type of liquid. So it's going to make its own water. So that's all I'm using. Not a whole lot. Because again, it's going to cook. It's going to be covered. It's going to make its own liquid. Let me put a little bit down this end. We're going to take this full. We're going to cover it up nice and tight. Like it's a baby in a newborn blanket. Or like it's a newborn baby in a blanket. <laughs> My oven is already preheated. 
I preheated it on 350, but I'm gonna turn it down to 300. I'm not gonna touch these ribs. Once I put the foil on them, when I go back into these ribs and peep at them, it's gonna be at least two hours of cooking before I peep at them. At least two hours, and it smells good with that mustard. Oh my goodness. Okay. Middle rack in the oven. We go. That's it. That's all. We gonna let them cook. How about them, these ones? These go on the top wrap. That's for something else. These are gonna be ribs. All right. I got my collard greens in. I use bad collard greens just because I do a lot of food ordering, and I really don't want no one else picking up my collard greens. Even using these glory bags, I figure you can't go wrong, right? Because when you doing your fresh collard greens, you want to be at the store. You want to pick out your own greens. You don't want too many stems, and you don't want this. You don't want that. So I'm doing some warm water, guys. It's right here. They're supposed to already be cleaned and all this stuff for you. So I like cleaning my greens with warm water. When you get the glory greens in the bag, they're supposed to already be clean, be this, be that. Guys, check for these stems. You know, check out some of these big stems. Sometimes that bag will be heavy, and they'll have a bag full of stems. So far, these are looking good. Not too many stems in here. Um, they're not gritty. So they did a good job with this. This is like the 24 ounce bag. They got a 32 ounce bag. And not too many stems. They're not gritty. And this takes out the work. It's a lesser of two evils. You don't have to do all that chopping and, and too much cleaning. But if you like doing all that, because our grandmothers did it. You know, they picked greens, they cleaned them, they chopped them. You know, that's good. But they try to make it easy because at the end of the day, these are still fresh greens. It's just less work you have to put into them. And like I said, sometimes the bags will be not that good. A lot of stems, a lot of still gritty. But this is a good bag. So let me finish rinsing these off. I'm going to put them in the pan. And we're going to let them cook. Season them and let them cook, guys. It's as simple as that. This is a good bag of boy green. I loved up today. <laughs> hey. Okay, guys, here my greens go. Oh, I actually turn the right one on. I'm doing this on a medium low. I have no meat. You can see. Still make good greens with no meat. Again, foods about flavor is about seasoning. So I'm going in with a little bit of seasoning salt. And it's going to be like a couple of times when I season this. Because I want to start it off seasoning salt, some pepper, and I'm just going to let it cook. I'm just going to let it cook. It's all about flavor. Put the top on in medium heat and let these bad babies cook till they're nice and tender. Now, I do use pure butter in my greens, but I don't do it at the beginning. And I put vinegar. Don't do it at the beginning. On the halfway mark, when it starts getting tender, I add in a half a stick of butter, like two caps of vinegar. Mmm. They're going to be good. All right, so everything is at this point is cooking. It's a slow cook. Oh, I gotta turn my stove down to 300. Everything's a slow cook. We'll be back in about two hours to check on the greens and to check on these greens. All right, guys, let's check on these greens first. They doing what they need to do. Look at them. Again, I didn't put anything in here, but I am gonna put in some onions. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. I didn't use any meat because my son Andrew, he don't want no meat. Got to have some turkey meat sometimes. But I know how to make greens without any seed, without any meat, any smoked meat. Because again, everything is about seasoning and flavor. That's my garlic powder. I'm going to go in with some butter. Unsalted butter. I'm only going to use a half a stick because these are not a lot of greens. Now I'll come back. 
Those greens good. They just need to cook. They don't look like much, but they're going to taste like a whole lot because you don't see the meat what we used to. But we don't always got to go there. You can still get good greens without having any type of ham hog, smoked meat, smoked necks, or anything. Okay. Let's take a look at these ribs now. Just sold them out. Let's see what they're doing. Tell me they ain't a good cook. Oh, Lord. Look at that. They ready. Look at that. Guess what we about to do? I'm about to drink some of this apple juice off. Just a teeny bit of this apple juice. So these ribs are ready. They've been cooking for three hours on 350. Look at that. Mmm. We're gonna let me drain some of this juice off of here because again it made its own juice. I only had to use a little bit of apple juice, like maybe a cup. That's it. Let me drain this off. Ooh, it smells so good in the house. We're gonna we're not using the before at this point anymore. We're gonna take off the spool, sit it up here, use this, smell amazing, drain it off. Cause I don't want all this juice in here. And then come back and put some barbecue sauce on them, the front and the back, then we're gonna place them in the oven. Give me two and two. So guys, pick your favorite barbecue sauce. If it's not mine, it's Baby Ray's, okay? If it's not mine, it's Baby Ray's. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. No worry. They're going to look good. Because now at this point, it's no more aluminum full, guys. I'm going to flip it. I got to miss a piece up there. Mm, look at that. He made sure no get barbecue sauce on everything. That's okay. Cause now well, I'm about to use these tongues. And if they fall apart, I hope they don't fall apart while we flip it. Whoo! Look at this. This real life action. That's how ten of these ribs are. Three hours cooking. Oh my goodness. Ooh. That's good food right there. These gonna be some good ribs. Falling off the bone ribs. Can't even flip them ribs. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, let me get you, boo. Tell me they ain't eating the night good. Mm, look at my shirt. Mm. Ooh, but that tastes good. I like barbecue sauce on the back and the front. All right, guys. These, look at Jack, this is Jackson in the background. He's supposed to be in school. Look at them. These going in the oven. Leave them on 300. About another, about 40 minutes. I want to get, I'm looking for a nice crust. Look at that. I use this whole bottle. Back in the oven. I am going to turn it up to 350. Because it's on 300. We get about 30 minutes on here. So when we come back, He's gonna be done. So squad, guess what? We are done. I just did greens and ribs. This video was about the ribs. It was about how, you know, I'm trying to put a spin on things. These mustard spare ribs with this apple juice, girl. Three hours, okay? What do I want to take first? Look at these ribs. Look how tender they come apart. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's it right there, y'all. Tell me them things don't look good. And we're going to do what? Off camera, guys, I got to let you know. Oh, man. Look at that, did. I put some um vinegar, some more seasoning. You know, you taste your grain. Make sure that they're nice. And they're ready. I, I thought it was going to do like this. I guess it's not wide enough. <laughs> so, let me go in with my green. Look at that. What's for dinner in your house? I know what my family eating on. There's a little bit more. You know what? We don't need the starch. Shoot. They got some vegetables. Some good old vegetables, some good old collard greens, some what? Look at these mustard spare ribs, y'all. Look at them spare ribs. So spot. 
That's why you got to become a member. Yeah, I'm dropping bangers. Dropping bangers left to right every Tuesday and Wednesday. But guess what? If you become a member, you'll get a banger what? Every Tuesday, every Wednesday, and every Thursday. $1.99 a month. Extra video. Exclusive content. You can't beat it. But guess what? My flowers also available too. That's in the description below. These are mustard spare ribs. Spare ribs done with a twist. They too hot to taste. I can't taste it. They look so good. But we know they tender because they're falling off the bone. Guys, like, share, subscribe. And to my next video, Soul Squad, we are out.